So let's have a look at question 3 from the 2015 National 5 Physics paper. It says that there is a circuit set up as shown and the, between X and Y there are a number of resistors. These two 4 ohm resistors are in parallel um, and this resistor is connected in series with these resistors. The question is what's the resistance between X and Y? So effectively what we have um, is actually between X we have a resistor. Um, which is 4 ohms and we have another resistor which is effectively um, this is why the combination of these two resistors here in parallel. So we need to determine what value uh, R is so we can add that to 4 to get the total resistance. So these two resistors are in parallel so there's two ways to think about this. The first way is to use the formula for total resistance 1 over RT is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 and uh, then we fill in the numbers and that's 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is equal to 1 over RT 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is equal to 2 over 4 which is equivalent to 1 over 2 and so therefore 1 over um, RT is equal to a half so therefore if we flip it over say RT over 1 has to equal 2 over 1. So all I've done there is I've moved the RT to the top, brought the 1 down below, and I've done the same with this side. Moved the 2 up down, up to the top, sorry, and brought the 1 down. And so we're left with an equation like this. The 1's cancel, and you're left with RT is equal to 2 ohms. And so that RT represents this R up here, and we just call it RT, just for clarification. And so now we've got, um, in series, a 2 ohm resistor and a 4 ohm resistor and so our total resistance is 6 ohms and so the answer has to be C. Now I did say that there was another alternative uh, way of thinking about this and that is if you have two resistors in parallel and both resistors are exactly the same size as they are here, they're both 4, then the total resistance of that branch is half um, one of them which is 2 ohms which is what we've already discovered. So this is 2, that's 4 giving us 6.